Hey guys, welcome back to the Silent Beauty Doctor on YouTube and in today's video, we are gonna be going over some full lip color ideas. Now these are gonna be colors that, you know, maybe if you're making a shopping list, you know, you jot them down and maybe pick them up on your next beauty run. Or they're probably, and knowing some of you guys out there, you probably either have these colors or a similar colors in your stash. But either way, it's good to have some fresh ideas. Well, these aren't really fresh because there's only but so many uh, lip colors, you know? But, you know, it's good to have some ideas for lip colors to wear for the upcoming season. So keep watching. Now, our first color, I'm actually already wearing it. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss and Grape Jelly. Anastasia Beverly Hills makes some bomb lip glosses. Now, I have been on a lip gloss kick for probably the entirety of 2019, and probably, it, it probably started back in 2018, if we, you know, just being honest, you know what I'm saying? But with the, you know, everything was a, a liquid matte lip and, you know, I just was like, you know what, I need the, the opposite. But when it comes to glosses, I like something that's more opaque. So this gloss, it's like a, I gotta look in the mirror here to see what the color's looking like. It's like, um, almost like a magenta shade. Like if you remember like the MAC Rebel lipstick, this is kind of similar to that, but more in gloss form. Um, you can get something like this, like if you have a matte lipstick that already looks like this, or a creamy lipstick, you know, full coverage lipstick, full color, full coverage lipstick that's similar in this color, you know, you just get one of your favorite glosses and put it on top, so boom, there you go. Um, or this is something like if you mix a purple lip color and a pink lip color, you can get something similar to this. And we are going to move on to the next year. Now, this not gonna be like, listen, I am sorry, but I cannot show you more than maybe five or six colors because lip swatches burn. So I took the shade off and then I realized that I wanted to say more and then I didn't want to put the shade back on just to take it off. But a color like this, I would break this out when I'm wearing a colorful outfit. So for instance, I just bought a really gorgeous green satin blazer. I got it at um, New York and Company. It's part of Gabrielle Union's collection. So something like that with a nice pink lip. I feel like the colors, well obviously there are colors that are um, complements to each other, but they look really good. And if you're an AKA, you know pink and green, you know they go together. This is the type of color that you can, you know, wear from, you know, day to night, night to day, you know, if you out there popping and doing your thing over there. Um, this is a color that works for the office. This is a color that can work for brunch. Th this is just a really, a beautiful color that goes with a lot. As the fall weather starts to roll in, a lot of us, you know, we start wearing darker colors. And this is something that I like as like a nice punch to the lip that also goes amazingly with jewel tone colors as well. Next up, we have NARS. Now, I have reached the, I really can't see what this color says, you know, stage of life. Um, because they make the print so small. And I remember I used to think like, I would go to beauty events and like, there'd be people like, oh my God, I can't read the thing. I'm like, how you can't read the thing? But, um, it looks like this is full. I will put, I will look up the name on the computer and I will put the name on the screen because, Lord, I can't see. I do see that it's a sheer. Anyway. I, I'll put it on and then we'll talk about it. Now, a lot of times sheer lipsticks or, sh well, in the hierarchy of like things that I like, a sheer lipstick is higher on the totem pole than a sheer gloss. A sheer gloss makes me so angry sometimes, unless it's like a topper like the Fenty um, Diamond Milk Lip Gloss. Th that's something that's different because at least that has shimmer in it. But Typically, I don't normally go for sheer lipsticks, but I love this one. This one is coming off. It might be coming off a different color on camera than what it's looking like in person, but this is giving me like a brownie pink or a pinky brown. I love colors like that because they make 
for such beautiful nude lip colors on deeper skin tones. And I also love the finish on it because it is a satin finish. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. I really love that. Now this is something that like if you're wearing a lot of color in the fall and you do want to kind of pull things back, you might wear a color like this. Or if you're doing like a really dramatic smoky eye and you know, maybe you're wearing something that's understated, then you put a lip on this, then you might put a lip like this on to kind of balance it out. Although me, I, I would do a smoke, I would, I would do a smoky eye with a nude lip, but I would also do a smoky eye with a bold lip, but that's, you know, that's just me. Um, but I love a color like this because you, you, you there's going to be a need for a nude in your wardrobe at some point during the fall. And this is a nice one. Um, you can also make a color like this if you have already a brown and a pink and like maybe like a dusty pink or a rose kind of pink shade. You know, feel free to mix them together or look in your stash for, um, you know, your nude shades because you might have something similar. So Similar-ish shades, I, you know, I had a couple in here. So this one is Sepia Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then this one is metallic rose. Now these aren't, you know, the exact same color, but it kind of gives you that brownie pink where, well, metallic rose is more of a pinky pink. <laughs> but these are also those like soft um, pink, soft pinky brown kind of shades that look gorgeous on deeper skin tones. Okay, next up is a lipstick that is limited edition and I hate to kind of bring limited edition stuff in to videos because it's like, that. now I can't get it. But this is from my girl, I'm saying my girl, I've never met her, she probably doesn't even know I exist, but I love her so much, Patricia Bright. Um, she had that uh, collaboration with MAC, and this one is called, looks like it says, hashtag the Patricia Bright matte lipstick, but I swear this had a name to it, um, but let's put it on. Okay, also I somehow cut the inner corner of my mouth. I think I was like being real greedy at dinner the other night. <laughs> I was like eating something to kind of, you know, scratch the inner corner of my mouth. Or maybe like I fell asleep with my mouth open and it just got really dry right there. Like, I mean, I don't know. But I love a color like this. Probably not with, you know, the makeup and everything that I have on now. And I personally tend to not go with... I find that deeper colors do tend to wash me out. This, this lip color is probably not the best, you know, lip color given, you know, the makeup colors that I'm wearing now, but it is a really pretty shade to think about for fall. So it is a brown, but if you look at it, it's like a medium brown. It's not the, the deepest brown. There are more like chocolate, chocolate browns. This one has a little bit of like a rosy or a reddish. Um, and if you kind of look at it sometimes, maybe you can even see like an orangey kind of tone to it. But I love the nuance in this color. This is a color I would probably wear with a smoky eye. Like I have been seeing lots of like grunge influences for the full trends. And I would love to do like a grungy kind of look. Even though I feel like my I have too much of like a baby face to be like taken seriously wearing like a grungy look. But I'm going to try it anyway. So I see something like this with maybe like, um, oh, if I have like a dark green matte and do like a dark green matte smoky eye um, with like a really, you know, like I like to smoke out my bottom waterline. I think that would be really cute. Like this is like the kind of like shade that like, you know, it's like, oh, you know, I'm gonna put on my turtleneck sweater and you know, put my hair in a top knot and then maybe you're wearing like a leather mini skirt and over the knee boots. And you put your hair in a top knot, like a messy top knot, and maybe you have some bangs coming down. And you're like, oh, you know, I'm going to the coffee house to have a, you know, a little coffee date with, you know, my boo or whatever. Like, it just seems very, like, fall and, and cozy. And, you know, like, I feel like it needs to be paired with, like, very rich fall textures, leather, you know, faux leather, um, satin, um... Uh, mohair, like faux fur, like like I feel like this is like I, I think you I think you get in what I'm saying, right? So if you are looking to create a color like this, you can take like you know if you have a deeper brown lipstick and you mix it in with maybe like a red or a lighter red, or even mix a dark brown with an orange shade, you might be able to get something similar to this if you shop in your stash and you know don't want to go and buy a new lipstick. 
Um, again, I apologize that I had something limited edition, but I don't have a lot of makeup. I try not to keep a lot of makeup. And um, I do remember when NARS came out with their um, their version of the liquid lipstick. I remember there being a dark chocolate brown liquid matte in that collection that I thought was really pretty. I don't have it, um, but that's one that you can you can look at. And to be honest, you can go to the dollar store, the beauty supply store, and get a chocolate brown lipstick that's not gonna cost you a whole bunch of money and then you can mix it in with something that you already have in your stash. Okay, next up, this would not be a full lip color idea video without the red lip. I mean, red lips you can wear year round. Actually, you can wear whatever colors you want to year round. Um, but the red, you gotta go with the red. So this is NARS, and thankfully I can actually see what the name says in the bottom. NARS Inappropriate Red. It's a matte, I, I wanna say this is a blue red, but let me get it on so I can refresh my memory. Okay, I see a little blue, but this looks also looks more of like a true red. Might be coming off a little bit different on camera. But anyway, this is a gorgeous red. It's a matte, but it's a very comfortable matte, so it's not kind of feeling... Like, remember I told you I cut here in the inner corner of my mouth? It's not like I'm like, ah! I feel like I can, you know, I can... <laughs> without, like, my lips, um, you know, getting stuck together or feeling like I'm rubbing two pieces of concrete. Now, I don't need to tell you where to wear red, honey, because a red... Lipstick is something that is going to elevate almost any outfit. Like, even if you're wearing, like, jeans and t-shirt. Like, if you're, like, a jeans and t-shirt kind of gal with maybe, like, a cute, you know, booty or over-the-knee boot, like, Mary J. Blige over-the-knee boot kind of moment. Ooh, I gotta get a pair of over-the-knee boots like Mary J. Blige. But anyway, a red lip is something that is also going to elevate almost any look. Like, I feel like there was a time where I exclusively wore red lips. Like, I felt like I was not wearing, like, I wasn't dressed unless I had on a red lip. Now, that has passed and I've, you know, since gone through other phases. But I still enjoy a good red lip. Now, let's talk about some other alternatives. Now, if you have a big lip stash, I know you gotta have a red in there, so you don't really need to go, you know, justifying, oh, but I don't have that red. Like, I'm sure you have something pretty similar to this red. But some alternatives. MAC Fashion Legacy. This is more of like an orangey red. I love this as well. Um, Lip Bar Hot Mama. This is more of a warm red, but not quite as orange as... Fashion Legacy, and look, man, I told y'all, lip swatches off and on, they burn, and I already got a cut right here on my lip, so, um, Dance With Me, this is more of like a cranberry red, I would say this is more of like a, you know, leans more on the bluish side, so these are, pull out your reds, pull out your reds, now, and if you wanted a quick little trick, if you wanted a quick little trick on figuring out which red is right for you, it has to do with your undertone. Now, and if you're like, dang, how am I supposed to find my undertone? So if you, a quick and easy, quick and dirty trick. If you look better in gold, you likely have a warm undertone. If you look better in silver, you likely have a cooler undertone. If you look good in both, you're probably neutral. For the gold or warm undertones, a warm base red is gonna be like bomb. Like, boom, I love this. Like, so an orange base red is going to look amazing on you. So an orange base red would be like the MAC Fashion Legacy. Um, Lip Bar Hot Mommy, Hot Mama, Hot Mama. Lip Bar Hot Mama is probably also going to be looking, look good on you. But I feel like Hot Mama is more on like the true red side where it can look good on both warm and cool undertones. Um, then if you have a cooler undertone, more of those like blue based reds. So something more like the MAC Dance With Me, something with a strong blue undertone like Ruby Woo from MAC. Those are colors that are going to look really amazing on a cooler undertone. I have a neutral undertone, so I myself, I like to, you know, alternate between orange based reds and blue based reds because I find that I look good in both. And a lot of times it's just like, girl, just put it on, try it out. If you don't like it, you can take it off. Don't let people tell you you can't get dark skin don't look good in red lips because they lying and they are jealous. They lying. They don't know what they're talking about. And you might want to consider your relationship with them. Oh, by the way, um, the NARS lipsticks that I've been showing you, like, 
you know that's from PR. Like I've mentioned that before. These lipsticks have been sitting behind me for the longest time. It's just display, you know? But those were sent to me in PR and the NARS lipsticks that I'm showing you were in PR as well. Or from that stash from PR. Okay, now next up, I don't typically love wearing darker lip colors because I, I find that when I wear a darker lip color, I have to kind of like wear a lot of color on my face so that it balances me out because a darker lip color can tend to wash me out. Um, but I'm going to show you an option even though like I'm like not 100% sold on it. <laughs> There's a NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I believe the shade is called Train Blue. And then there's a MAC shade that I just cannot remember the name of it for the life of me. Um, I don't actually own a lot of like these deep like eggplant um, type of aubergine colors. Because I just don't wear them that much and it doesn't make sense for me to keep it. So this is the closest one out of that like stash of like darker lip colors. But what I tend to do with a darker lip color is I like to put a red in the center to really like give like that ombre kind of look. I'm going to add some inappropriate red to it to kind of make it more of a color that I would actually wear. I am someone who if a lip color doesn't work well on its own, I'm not buying it. Unless it's like a lip topper like the Fenty Diamond Milk where it's like, you know, I want to add some shimmer to my lipsticks. Then, you know, that's an exception. Although I couldn't wear that one on, on its own, but I just wouldn't. But I don't like wasting money on things that don't work out the gate. Like, if I have to make it work, like, I feel like that's too much for me. Um, which is why, you know, this heroin red is the only dark, like, eggplant, aubergine kind of color that I have. And I don't even, like, have it. This is, like, a PR um, thing from the, you know, lip, lip uh, tray? lip display I don't know that lip thing back there this is more of like a darker color that I would wear I would want like a punch of red or maybe like a punch of a bright orange in the center to kind of make it feel more balanced to me oh by the way makeup um I have a combo from the Jackie Ina palette that is not on my combo list on the blog I'm surprised well I'm not surprised because I said on the blog post that those were at least 17 because you could have more but I am wearing um pinker supreme and big wig all in here big wig is um like in the crease like kind of it's I like a like a ombre effect so it's it's doing like pink and purpley and um there's some um, credit underneath my eyes credit big wig and um a touch of supreme underneath there. Foundation is the Juvia's Place. I'm wearing shade Kenya. The lip is Anastasia Beverly Hills Gloss in Grape Jelly. And the lashes are um, Blinks, Blinks, Minks lashes. And I believe these are cash out. The blush is the Natasha Denona um, Bloom and Blush or Bloom and Blush and Bloom Glow, Blush and Glow Bloom Palette. I don't know. Natasha Denona Blush Palette with the nice vivid uh, cranberry shade in it. All right, so let me know in the comments which of these colors are colors that you would actually wear. Are there other lip colors that you plan on pulling out for the fall season? Let me know in the comments. Follow me on social, the links will be in the description box. And any related like blog posts or videos that you know I also want you to check out will be there as well. As long as things like, you know, links to hair and earrings and things like that although the earrings I don't know that the earrings are still available because I got them from forever 21 a while back but um yes leave me a comment below because you know we like to get a little chitty chatty and I will see you fine folks in my next video bye guys